Hey guys, Portia here and today I wanted to use Canva Pro to create a Chicago sports theme sublimation wrap. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with our create a design and I'm going to do custom size. Change the pixels to inches here. And the width of my tumbler is 9.3, but I always like to go just give me a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room. So I'm going to do 9.4 and the height is eight inches and I'm good with that. And I'm going to go ahead and say create new. Now we are going to be building our Chicago sports theme from the bottom layer up. So the very first thing I want to start with is the background. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and go into photos. And I want to type in white smoke. So I don't want a really heavy smoke and I don't want it to be too light, but there is one in here that, okay, here it is. I like this one and I want to slide it over just a little bit just to create that variation of the dark to the light because I want uh, not so much all white, but just a little bit of personality in there. So slide that over like that. Now, keeping with our Chicago theme, I'm going to stay in photos. And the next thing I want is the just Chicago. And I'm actually going to do um, the Chicago skyline. So I'm looking for a photo. So I don't need like all the, the colors in here. The one I like is black and white for the most part. Did I pass it? Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna slide that. No, I don't wanna slide it. I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna bring it down. And what we're gonna do is edit the image because I wanna remove the background. I don't need all that extra stuff. So let's do that now. And then I'll hit apply. I'm going to stretch this out. All right. And then with, with this, you can make it as big or as small as you like. And I think this is DSO right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So now we have, like I said, our base layer. And at the bottom, we want to represent Chicago. So we got that going on. The next thing that I want to bring in is some text. Now I found this awesome text on Defont.com and I really like it. And the only thing I needed to say is Chicago. And you know what, that needs to be lowercase. And the name of the text is, do I still have it here? Here it is, Desire Stacked Bold. So it pretty much just stacks up and you get the multiple look here. And I think that's a pretty dope look. And it's telling me that Chicago is spelled wrong because it's all lowercase. But for our purposes, it is A-OK. -okay. And with this font here, I'm going to go ahead and go with red. I think there's a darker red I wanted. Ooh, that is too bright. So yeah, I want it to be a little bit darker so that looks pretty good and this is our background so let me make sure it's part of our background so I want to bring it up just a little bit and I'm gonna pull it out just to be a little bit bigger not too much all right so I believe that looks pretty good we'll put that there now the next thing that I want to pull in, like I said, this is um, sports theme and it's all centered around the Chicago sports. This tumbler is for my husband. So I'm going to bring in a few of his favorite players from various sports. And we're going to start with Derrick Rose and he is in the background there. So we need to bring him forward. So I put the words in the back and I brought Derrick forward. And then I also, well, let me shape him first. Let's see, this looks deso. I also want to go ahead and bring in Jose Abreu. He'll go there. I'm gonna pull Chris Bryan in. I think I want him more backwards. 
and then Walter Payton. So these are some of my husband's favorite players from the various sports that he follows. Of course, not all. Um, and so what I want to do is just go ahead and arrange these folks in a kind of pleasing way where you can kind of tell, oh yeah, that's who that is. Oh yeah, that's who that is. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Now you notice I'm not really messing with my edges here because I always like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room just in case um, something happens during the print process and I don't, um, you know, end up ruining it because my edges are overlapping or anything like that. So I like to leave myself a little wiggle room when it comes to that. Now the other thing that I do wanna do is add a little bit of depth to each player by adding a little shadow around them and that is going to be down here and if we click on see all we can click on glow and Derek's shadow because he's a bull I want to make it red and then Jose's shadow of course because he's a socks a socks how do you say is that no it's not even plural I have no idea um, we are going to make his shadow uh, once again we're going to pick glow and we're going to make it black and it's already black so we'll stick with that okay so far so good now that all of our shadows have been added I want to play with my edge a little bit so when we wrap the tumbler I don't want this clean straight edge that's like um we went directly from the white smoke to the black. I want to add a little bit extra there. So let's go ahead and go into the elements. And from there, I want to go into shapes. I'm just going to use a square. I want this to be black. And, you know, it's going to have a seam down there unless you really uh, play with the picture to kind of make it look more seamless. And that's not really what I'm doing today. I'm not going for that. I've done it before, but not doing that today. I am going to just add this black strip here. And I think I'm going to move Walter over just a little bit. Give me some room for my strip. Okay, so what will happen is this black here will end up running into this black on this side. It's not going to create a completely seamless look, but I think it's going to be a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Now, I'm going to go back to my folder here, and I have went in and looked for each of these players' signature. I removed the background, and I changed the color to white, and I went on ahead and uploaded into my Canva app. So let's go ahead and put each person's signature here. All right, so that looks pretty good. You can fuss with that just to kind of make sure your spacing is where you want it, but I think that looks decent. So at this point, like I said, um, we once the wrap goes around the tumbler, this black part will end up butting against somewhere around like his elbow. So if it cuts that off a little bit, I think that'll be fine. No, no big deal. Um, but I am going to go ahead and download this and I'm going to download it as a um, high quality PDF and um, once I download it I'm going to print it out and then what we can do is uh, go ahead and sublimate it onto my tumbler and see what we end up with. Alright and here is our design hot off the printer so yeah I went on ahead and cut off the edges and it is completely dry and it is ready to wrap so I'm going to be wrapping this 20 ounce skinny tumbler with our image I've already cleaned it off which is why I am trying to avoid touching it directly so I'm going to go ahead and get this taped all down and from there we'll go ahead and sublimate it
All right, guys, here is our finished design, and I am really loving the look. I hope my husband likes it. Um, this is actually a first to me. No bling, no glitter, no pinks, purples, flowers, butterflies, anything like that. Um, I wanted to make sure that I stay within his aesthetic, and I think he's going to like it. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. But yeah, guys, this is all I have for you today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful or even entertaining, go ahead and hit that like button. But as always, until next time, peace.